Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And I just happened to spawn right on the monster I was hunting. As you can see, it is the Catcher Watcher. A very funny little monkey. I like this monkey. This monkey is fun to fight. Uh, I'm kind of getting my butt beat because I have not fought this thing in quite some time. So, it'll probably take me a bit to get used to his animations again. Ooh, perfect. Unlucky. So, today has been a hard day to get a recording done, let me tell you that. There was so much crap I had to get done today. It was ridiculous. I kept trying to find times to record. There was no time to record. And, ugh. Ugh. But I'm glad I did find the time, albeit pretty late at night. Well, that's unfortunate. Pretty late at night. So how's your guys' day going? Hope it's going good. Hope it's going okay. Hope everything is well. No problems. I am trying to make Catch's armor because I actually like Catch's armor. You know, the at least aesthetically, I like the armor. Uh, the, the best way I've found to fight catch -a is to kind of just, uh, kind of let him freak out a little bit, you know, honestly, don't, don't rush in because he, uh, he's quite agile and he'll jump, he jumps around a lot. Just kind of let him do a move and then go for a poke. Or two. Only one right there, obviously. You don't want to spam moves on him. It never goes well. See? Like that. I keep trying to overcommit to moves that I know I shouldn't, and I get punished for it by him. Now, he doesn't do a lot of damage, but he does do a lot of attacks really fast. So he can combo you if he really wants to. I uh, I did a lot of, a lot of farming today. And yesterday. I have all of Baryoth's armor. And he's just leaving. Um, I think I go this way. But yeah, I have all of Baryoth's armor. I have half of Gameth's high rank armor. And I figured, you know, what's another monster I really like? Well, catch a watch it. I believe this is always... Also where you... I did not mean to dolphin dive. This is also where you um, hunt Tigrex when you fight him here. He goes... This is one of the locations he goes to. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't need to paintball him, per se. But... Um, Ketchik can go all over the place. And I don't know this map too well. Oh, I'm pretty damaged. Yeah, so like I said, he, he doesn't do a lot of damage, Ketcha. But he can, you know, he's still he's still tougher than you, so be careful. He can kill you. Uh, he does spit snot at you, because he's better than you. You know? Man, I'm just not gonna... That was probably a really bad time. No, that was a bad time to use Sakura Slash. But, I I don't know, man. He jumps around so much. Man, I have not... Gotten any... Um... Any spirits up. Jeez. That's really bad. Hmm. He's not going to let me pick that item up, is he? He is now. <laughs> Greed! Not worth it. Worth it. Got it. Oh, I rolled right into that. Great. I don't know all the parts of Ketcha you can break, but I know you can break his little hood. And it's kind of funny looking when you break it. Because you see half his face... Uh, through it. Yeah, see like that. Look at that. 
He looks so derpy with it broken. I can't, I can't get it there. Uh, so while my billowing Luger, my Glavinus longsword is way better than my Rathalos longsword, I got bored of using it all the time when I needed a fire weapon. So I just was like, let's, let's, let's use Rathalos' longsword just for fun. It's catch a watcha, you know, it's, it won't be too punishing. Catch is pretty squishy. Hmm. I am still wearing two parts of my Baryoth armor. The waist and the arms because I don't have those parts of Ketcha. That's the only part I don't have of Ketcha. Is he weak? No. He's leaving. I don't know where he's going to go next. I, I go this way, right? I just, I, I think so. Like I said, I don't know this map very well. I don't go here all too often. There is one monster that I know I fight here that I really want to. But I'm trying to save that experience. The first hunt experience for a video. Because it's a really cool monster and I know what it does already because I spoiled myself because I don't know when I am really interested in the game I just kind of read up about it a whole lot but it's the selfish queen and I think it's a really cool design the fact that two monsters combine together to fight you that's so interesting I'm going to get, finally, some spirit. I have not gotten any. Uh oh. His attacks are so weird. Oh, man. I'm so bad at dodging. I. Oh, perfect. And uh, he falls over great i'm really bad at dodging his stuff like his moves are so they're so all over the place man maybe he's got to be close to death right well i guess it hasn't been that long in the fight maybe i'm overestimating how squishy he is that's definitely the case I also don't fully remember if he's weak to fire. I just kind of assumed because a lot of water monsters, aside from Mizutsune, are, are weak to fire. Mizutsune is weak to thunder. But I assume Catch is weak to fire. He just seems like he would be, I guess. Either way, um, I don't. As long as you don't take water against Ketcha, I don't think it'll matter too much. Heck, I've even used Mizutsune's longsword against Ketcha, and I've killed it pretty fast. So, so a lot of um, <clears throat> when I fight Baryoth and high rank Gameth and uh, Kushala, those are all hub missions. This is not a hub mission, though. I could fight Ketcha in a hub mission. I decided to go to solo for no particular reason other than I just felt like it. That's about it. So, Ketch is tired. Uh, he kind of flails around a bit and then... Alright. Hmm. So, as I'm sure you've noticed a couple times, uh... I stop losing stamina randomly, and it'll say on the screen, stamina depletion has stopped. And that is because of GAM has an ability that stops that from happening. I think it's the detox thing? 
the detox horn. It's either the detox horn or the SP horn. I don't remember which one. But it's really nice. And I like it. Oh, you're just going to stop? Hmm. And he's mad now. I actually prefer to fight Ketcha when he's mad. Are you going to attack me? You're going to go underneath. Oh! I've never seen him do that before. Wow. And it has resumed. And that's really bad that I fell that way. And he jumps over both slashes. And he's going to do that. I should probably use that time to dodge. Are you going to attack me? No, he's not. He's got, he got knocked down by Stevie's boomerang. Oh, I didn't, I didn't want to trap him. Uh, no, I didn't want to catch him. Of course not. I didn't want the materials. So I've heard a lot of people say that in older Monster Hunter games, capturing them doesn't give extra materials. It just gives you different ones or it gives you a higher chance at other ones. Is that true? I mean, I don't mind either way. I don't mind killing some monsters, you know. But uh, I just capture them anyways most of the time. That's a bug. But yeah, this was a catch a hunt. Catch a watcha. I'll probably have his full armor set by the next time you see a, you see a video from me. Aside from this one, anyways. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you have a good day. Or night. Or evening. I hope that bug doesn't bite me in the butt. If it's going to try. I hope you enjoy fighting this monkey as much as I. He's not a particularly hard monkey to fight. But he is fun. But I suppose. Ooh. Actually. Let's see what this is first. A rust shard. I've gotten. I've been getting quite a few of these lately. And I don't know why. Ooh. It's a bow gun. Demon's Isle? Huh. I mean... Ooh, demon and armor internal? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Alright, well anyways. Uh, I guess I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.